In this video, I am going to explain the concept of uh, producer's equilibrium. You can also find the write-up in the description section. Uh, the primary objective of uh, any firm or any producer is to maximize the profit. Now, a producer is said to be in equilibrium when he attains maximum profit from given cost or given output and to, to attain this maximum profit, he or she needs to choose the appropriate uh, combinations of uh, factors of production. So, we can understand the idea of producer's equilibrium with the, with the help of uh, isoquant and isocost. So, isoquant shows the all possible uh, combinations of two factors of production which yield same output and slope of the isoquant is marginal rate of technical substitution uh, which shows the willingness of the producer to give up one factor of production for an additional unit of another factor of production and iso cost line indicates the price of two factors of production and total cost. So it shows all possible combinations of two inputs that is labor and uh, capital which can be purchased for given total cost. So this total cost is equal to labor cost plus capital cost. The total cost is equal to labor cost plus capital cost. Now labor cost is price of labor into amount of labor. Capital cost is price of capital into units of capital. Now we know that Price of labor is wage rate, that is W, L. Price of capital is rate of interest, that is R, K. And total cost is C. So, this is the ISO cost equation. If we rewrite this equation, we can write K is equal to C upon R minus W upon R into so this W upon R is the slope which is equal to PL upon PK. This minus sign shows that a producer cannot increase the use of both the factors of production simultaneously because total cost is given and it is fixed. So if producers uh, wants to increase the use of capital, it has to reduce the units of labor and vice versa. So now we are going to understand the idea of producer's equilibrium with the help of ISO quant and ISO cost. A producer can or, or there are two possibilities. possibilities. One is maximizing output for given cost and another is minimizing cost for given output. So producer can maximize uh, the profit by uh, maximizing the output for given cost or minimizing the cost for given output. We will understand both the cases. So first we will understand the uh, idea of maximizing the output for a given cost. Now we know that this output can be explained with the help of 
isoquant and co cost is explained with the help of iso cost line and there are two factors of production so production function q is the function of labor and capital so now we will understand the first case that is maximizing output for given cost we measure quantity of labor along x axis and quantity of capital along y axis the cost is given which means that we have only one iso cost line ab this is first iso quant second iso quant and third iso quant we know that higher the iso quant higher the production and lower the iso quant lower the production this ab is the iso cost line which shows the total outlay or total cost so with this given cost producer uh, wants to maximize the output now before we understand the uh, equilibrium we need to uh, understand the equilibrium conditions so there are two equilibrium conditions equilibrium conditions the first equilibrium condition is iso quant iso cost must be tangent to iso quant and at tangency point the slope of both the curves are equal so slope of iso quant which is known as mrt as that is marginal rate of technical substitution is equal to the slope of iso cost line and the slope of iso cost is pl upon pk which is equal to w upon r this condition is known as first order condition the second order condition is this mrt as that is marginal rate of technical substitution must be decreasing in other words the iso quant must be convex to the origin the iso quant must be convex to the origin if these two conditions are satisfied that we can say that producer is in equilibrium position this is point a point b sorry point f point g point h point i we know that higher the uh, iso quant higher the production so this q3 iso quant shows the maximum or the highest production the production on q2 is lower than the production on q3 and production on q1 is lower than the production on q2 so producer wants to achieve or producer producer wants to stand on q3 but it is not possible with the given cost which means that this producer cannot achieve point i or producer cannot be uh, cannot achieve the equilibrium on q3 now point f g and h at these three points the uh, slope of these two curves that is iso quant and iso cost is same but point g is on q2 and point f and h are on q1 so this g point shows the higher output than f and h and at point g the iso cost is tangent to iso quant q2 and the second condition that is iso quant must be convex to the origin so at this point g 
This producer achieves the equilibrium and that is why point G is known as equilibrium point. And at this equilibrium, the marginal rate of technical substitution that is MRTS which is equal to marginal productivity of labor upon marginal productivity of capital is equal to the slope of the ISO cost that is W upon R or PL upon PK. So at equilibrium point the marginal rate of technical substitution which is equal to the ratio of marginal productivity of labor to marginal productivity of capital which is equal to the slope of the ISO cost. Now we will understand the second case. That is minimizing cost with given output. So again we measure quantity of L, uh, quantity of labor along x-axis and quantity of capital along y-axis. Now the output is given. Which means that we have only one ISO quant. This AB is the ISO cost line. A1, B1 and A2, B2. So this AB shows the lower cost. Cost on A1, B1 is higher than AB and cost on A2, B2 is higher than A1, B1. So higher the cost. Uh, the or the increase in cost shifts the ISO cost outward. This is the ISO quant. Q1. It is given. So production is given. Point a sorry point G H I and J producer wants to produce this given output Q1 at cost AB or on the AB ISO cost but it is not possible to produce this output with this given cost now this producer can produce Q1 at point G, H and I. But G and I are on A2, B2 ISO cost and point H is on A1, B1 ISO cost. And we know that the cost on A2, A1, B1 is lower than the cost on A2, B2. So the production cost of Q1 is lower on H than G and I. And at this point, the slope of these two curves are equal. ISO cost is tangent to uh, the ISO quant and ISO cost, ISO quant is also convex to the origin. So therefore this is the equilibrium point and at this point MRTS is equal to MPL upon MPK which is equal to slope of the ISO cost line. This combination is known as least cost combination. So if producer wants to maximize or wants to minimize the cost with given output, this producer has to produce on point H. And this point is known as list cost combination because cost is minimized. So this is the theory of producer's equilibrium.